Donald Trump's daily briefings aren't short on controversy, but Thank he took this much. one to new levels. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. In case you're in any doubt, that was the president of the United States suggesting that injecting disinfectant might be a way to treat coronavirus. It can't be said with enough urgency that it is not. His comments prompted the manufacturers of Dettol and Lysol to issue a statement that they surely never imagined having to write in these circumstances. They said, as a global leader in health and hygiene products, we must be clear that under no circumstance should our disinfectant products be administered into the human body through injection, ingestion or any other route. Trump now claims he wasn't being serious. Now, I was asking a question sarcastically to reporters like you just to see what would happen. Put in the form of a question to a group of extraordinarily hostile people, namely the fake news media. The White House had already tried to walk back the president's comments with no mention of sarcasm, just accusations that journalists were taking it all out of context. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. On Friday night, he took no questions, an unusual move in one of the shortest White House briefings yet. Donald Trump has repeatedly and recklessly pushed what he sees as potential cures. First, it was hydroxychloroquine. I've seen people that are going to die without it. And you know the expression, when that's happening, they should do it. What really do we have to lose? It turns out quite a lot. A new study found this anti-malaria drug has no benefit in coronavirus treatment. It actually saw a higher death rate. The Food and Drug Administration has now issued a warning against it over risks to the heart. I'm the president and you're fake news. The president knows his powerful words reach millions of Americans. Thank you. Thank you very much. Many of whom are desperately sick. This could actually be a lethal combination. Amanda Walker, Sky News.